to uh, move them. Bad. Right, because uh, they still have the RAM at the buy shop no. waiting for parts. And then I got the new RAM and the other one, but I, I fucking paying on a brand new 3500. I can't drive it. So yeah. we should be getting live here right now. Um, everybody tuning in. This is episode 32. Uh, hey, Taylor, I'm not seeing the normal. Are we live? Can anybody verify we are live? It's live, it's on- yeah. Oh, I see it now. I'm looking in the wrong spot. Yeah. I've been, I've been so busy here, Dean, that I've been having to do these from the office. I see I you got a new, to- I was like, your background changed. Yeah, no, I'm at, I'm in my office right now, so, because gotcha. I haven't had time to make it home. All right, George Perez, what's up? Steven Rogers. Okay, if everybody's getting in. Yeah, tonight, like we've been doing, guys, um, we kind of do just a chit-chat in the beginning while everybody gets in here. I watch the count go up. We got a cool night tonight. Mike Murray, uh, who runs a car show in Daytona, eastbound get-down show, which we're going to be going to this weekend. I got my yeah. man Dean here. Who is on vacation in the Virgin Islands, uh, <laughs> co-hosting tonight, which is real cool. Uh, if you all are logging in right now and seeing the count go up, hit that smash that like button right now and share it out. Uh, if I'm talking kind of funny, y'all see I got the hater aid grill in. Uh, we got a bunch of grills that we're trying out, and I'm trying to see if we could do from the hater starter kit. Which uh, hold on, let me get my the hater starter kit let me get my pinky ring on too huh okay i don't think the i got a pinky ring you ain't got the pinky. yeah we ran out of those real quick um so i got my hater starter kit and we're trying to come up with the gator uh hater gatorade uh so we might be giving out grills for sure uh mike a in the house Juan's in the house uh if y'all chiming in from facebook there's a link there you just have to activate the chat from uh restream and you will come up with your name. Uh, everybody, this is the third night using your new software. And no matter where you're logged in with us, you're on here seeing each other's comments. Um, okay, we're going to wait a few more minutes. Um, Dean, anything new you want to let everybody know about? Or are you just kind of doing the same thing? Or, I mean, how long are you on vacation? Um, I'll be back this weekend for the show, actually. Oh, gonna you're going? Wait until- I didn't even know that. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's so really I'll cool. Back. Yeah, man. Maybe yeah, come by so and park by us if you're not too good. If you're not too you, good for you, us to come by. You, you know, I got, I'm got. i going to bring both cars, so I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Well, I got you. I will, have, I will have my guys pack up an extra tent just in case you want to get underneath it. Um, <laughs> well, we got JT's Garage, Mike A, Juan Gotti. Okay. Looks like we got a good amount of people jumping in. Thank you. Episode 32. Um, Like, make sure you share this out. Let's get a bunch of people in tonight. We're going to be talking about a few things tonight. We have uh, the Eastbound Get Down Car Show. uh, We're going to talk about uh, Big Jeff Batteries. I know it's been a long wait. We are told they will be here. They are in the U.S. They should be here uh, next week. We will ship out all pre-orders, and then the price goes up. But um, I'm real happy and excited about that. Uh, American Base, we're going to talk about. We're doing giveaways. Um, I work things out with Bob. Some of y'all have been following for a while. No, I was pretty hard on him. Drove over his speakers and everything. Um, we work things out for 24. We've been already selling the product. We're back on as a distributor, online seller. So at 8.45 tonight, there'll be a YouTube for a giveaway and we're gonna be giving away some american base which is kind of cool and tonight like we always do we're giving stuff away we're giving away some um six and a half inch godfathers okay uh real quick before we kick this off somebody won the drunk text if you don't know what that is you text the word drunk d-r-u-n-k to 737 big jeff and every week you might get a text from me lit up saying you won some this week's winner is who won this week guys Thomas Strider, congratulations. You are the weekly drunk text. Okay, Uh, let's get this thing started. Ben, you ready? Let's kick this shit off. Let's go. It's the Big Sound Podcast. Welcome back. Got one hell of a cast to keep it action-packed. Big Ben on the scene, yeah, and Taylor the hair. 
Ellie the Queen and Big Jeff in the chair. Got audio legends coming on the show. If you need some advice, then you'll be good to go. Got the usual suspects at the chats. And deviant for life, straight rapping facts. Big Jeff coming through like he's Santa Claus. Cause he be giving stuff away, yeah, he's the boss. And hit the website no matter what your budget's. Year making model, we will tell you what fits. And hair tricks, get them for just a dollar. Cop a Big Jeff shirt and pop your collar. We bout to take off like a convertible drop top. Haters sneaking in, they get hit with that bot shot. Before we set it off, you gotta do something. Thin. Grab your chain, your shades, and your pinky ring. Now we ready to go. Yeah, it's time to begin. You know it's Big Jeff Audio for the win. Team Big Jeff, y'all can start the show. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! Episode 32 in the house. You see the Hater Aid Grill. Uh, hopefully this turns into the next prom- uh, promotion. If you're interested in getting the grill with your hater kit, leave a comment. I just want to hear the uh, comment, the word grill, who would actually want to wear them at shows and that. Um, I had a lot of people ask about it. We looked into it, and it's a way to step up that uh, hater kit. We all have haters in our life, and it lets you know that you're doing something special. You're doing something good if people are talking about you. Um, You need a close-up? Okay, hold on. I'm at the office, a little different. What do you all think? Okay, here's your close. <laughs> okay, uh, Dean Baptist in the house tonight, my co host, all the way from the Virgin Islands. Uh, thank yep. you for coming on tonight. Hey, tonight's a special night. We have a car show that I just found out and I didn't even know you're going to be at this weekend, Definitely. which is the East, Eastbound Get Down Show yeah, in thanks. Daytona. Um, our first year going there. Super excited. We are sponsored the event, of course. We'll have the BMW out there, the Wagoneer, the uh, Hair Tricks, and uh, the golf cart. We'll be giving away a bunch of stuff. Come check us out. Come check Dean out. And uh, first time us being there, so I'm real excited. I love especially Florida shows because it's local, and uh, we want to show support. For the people that can't be there or you're out of, out of the state, I will be doing lives throughout the day. And, of course, I will have the whole online team there with the cameras shooting video and we will produce videos for weeks thereafter okay without further ado the man uh that runs this is a guy named mike murray um we just kind of met we've talked here and there really cool cat uh we're gonna bring him on let's do this we're gonna take a short video break when we come back on i'll be with my man dean my co-host and we'll have mike murray on take us to a quick uh video break Get ready for the show of a lifetime. The 2024 Eastbound Get Down Car Show is revving up and heading to the beautiful destination, Daytona Complex in Ormond Beach, Florida. Brace yourself for a day filled with jaw-dropping custom cars, adrenaline pumping excitement, and a whole lot of automotive flair. A sea of sleek, polished rides Each one a masterpiece of craftsmanship and innovation. From classic hot rods to cutting edge custom creations. But it's not just about the cars, it's about the community. Join Big Jeff and the team this 13 and 14 of January, 2024 at the Eastbound Get Down Car Show and brace yourself for an amazing weekend. Mike Murray in the house. Hello, Mike. What's, up, Mike? What's going uh, on? And Dean, man, I apologize because you've been there since day one, and I totally. I was gonna, you. I was gonna say it, but I, I was, was I didn't it, want it Dean. about me. I wanted it to be about you. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, Big Jeff, Dean has been there. That car is one of the baddest cars, the loudest cars <laughs> out there. That thing is insane. Absolutely Thank you, man. insane. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Thank no, dude. Thank you. He goes out. I met I met you at um Made of Steel, if I'm not mistaken. First Made of Steel, yep. Yep. And mm-hmm. dude, we sat in that car and I was like, I have no hair, so I couldn't do no hair tricks. But <laughs> me, now I'm on here with you talking about Eastbound Get Down, but I do have a partner, John Lopez, and he's like mm-hmm. the biggest yes. Cuban you'll ever meet in your whole entire life. 
And he tried to fit in Dean's car and he couldn't. So he stuck my little ass, <laughs> my fat little ass in his car. He goes, you sit in it because I'm like, he's like, I can't fit in it. So, dude, I apologize earlier, Dean. No, you you're know, fine, this, Mike. This is really cool. One, it shows the, you know, in our video and share, was talking about the community. Um, and I was just saying before we started, having Dean on, who is a promoter himself, with you this is how it should work um yep. and it's about that networking because dean's been obviously supporting the show since day one and you know that's what i like that's what we try to do with you and other sellers so uh really cool to see this um let, let's do a couple things first uh we do a giveaway every podcast um tonight uh to kind of break in us working back with uh, american base yeah, i don't know what happened yeah. to mike Mike, Mike. Did Mike, Mike, can you hear us? Not, Mike. Mike, Mike, if you can, if you can hear us, uh, link probably link. log out. Yeah. Oh wait, <laughs> something's coming. All right, we'll keep talking. Mike, if you can hear us, still might want to log out, log back in. Um, that might work unless your camera died. But uh, every podcast we give stuff away. In the spirit of working with Bob at American Base, who was huge for us years ago when i first started oh no, I think I think. there you are hey, you're back there, goes my... there we go i don't know what happened there damn i thought you put on your hate of blockers and blocked us out i was like bro the bots got him right um so in um spirit of working with american base which has uh been a long-term company for and there's a lot of followers we're gonna give away a set of Godfather six and a half inch LMRs. Uh, those are a full range loudspeaker with a bullet and grill. Uh, anybody that wants a chance of winning that, I just need you to comment the word. Uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna do car show. Comment the word get down, G E T space down. Um, and then we'll pick a winner out later on. Um, let's go here first. Um, Mike, introduce yourself, let everybody know who you are, where you kind of come from, and uh, we'll start there. Well, obviously, my name is Mike Murray, and this is our third year of putting on Eastbound Get Down with me and my partner, John Lopez, and, of course, our wife, because just like you, Jeff, we have a great team behind us as well. And, of yeah. course, um, Eastbound Get Down, we're not just a car show. We are an audio show as well. And what we try to do, because we, me and my partner, both started in the car audio world, and kind of gotten ourselves over it more into the car show side. But unlike a lot of other car show promoters, we still love that car audio part of the show. So we have two shows in one as where we'll have the car show side and then we'll have the audio side. And we split it like that. So those car audio guys like, like Dean there can go over there in the sound side and they can go out there and do their thing. And ain't nobody going to go out there and tell them they got to turn it down, yeah, shut it yeah, off, or any yeah. of that. And that's why we separate the two. The car show guys want to go out there and enjoy it. They can go out there and enjoy it. If they want to be a bunch of bitches and stay on the car show side, and because it's too noisy out there, then they can stay on, stay on the car show side. It's just that easy. Um, Juan's jumping in. Will you ever guys visit Pennsylvania? Um, does Well, that's a good question. Not even Pennsylvania, but Mike, does is this a Florida only, or have you... I know Dean does different locations on his different shows. Is Get Down a Florida thing, or is that multiple hey, spots? Hats off to Dean. We do one show and one show only in Destination <laughs> at Destination Daytona. It is a one a one one stop show, baby. Yeah, we're yeah. Not, I, we're I, don't, not... I don't think everybody understands what goes into. I mean, <laughs> the show. no, they don't. <laughs> Right. Hey, all, Jeff, all everybody can throw a show. Everybody wants to be a yep. show promoter until they put their damn put put it out there and they start they get in. Because I tell you what, we've been doing this for well, this is our third year doing this show. I was a promoter for another show, and then I had another show after dark. And right. I tell you what, we got pretty good at our other show. I won't even mention the name of that other show because a lot of the base heads don't like that other show. I know yep. Dean knows what I'm talking about. Yep. And yeah, exactly they wanted and after we left, they wanted nothing to do that with the it. audio section. Mm -hmm. right. So but we won't even mention that other show. Just come off the eastbound and uh don't forget <laughs> the musical wars, because you can go to musical wars and have a damn good time there Same too. Same thing. Exactly. Uh, yep. So but 
this is what we love, man. We love the car community. We love getting everybody together, everybody to come out, show and go and have a damn good time, man. Show it yeah. off and uh, everybody just have a good time. If yeah. anybody hasn't done it, make sure you hit that like button, share this out. More people we get in here, the better. As you can see, all the comments are combined, so we're having one big party. Um, Mike, has this been the same location that you've been doing this for the last three years? Yeah, we're at the same location, and we're and I tell you what, and Dean being there the first year, man, the first year for the sound side, I think we had sixty eight the first year. Last yeah. year we had a, and I'm talking about registered vehicles. I'm not talking about like vendors and the vendor vehicles. We had um, sixty eight registered. Last year we had one hundred and forty nine. This year we're expecting two hundred and fifty. I'm we we should be able to clear that two fifty, no problem. And we All got right. the five, we got the five different sound organizations that are going to be out there. We got tons of vendors that are going to be out there, and we got lots of people that are coming out and are going to demo, man. It's, it's going to be a damn yep. good time. And so every, the- everybody, if you look at the scrolling at the bottom, obviously you can get stuff off our page. But to follow uh, Mike's uh, get down, you can go to facebook.com forward slash eastbound get down show. So remember, year's coming, or if you're going to make the trip in Florida, you can plan it out. And again, we're going to be shooting – terabytes of video and we'll be able to bring everybody there like you were there but if you want to come out uh definitely do it uh juan says to enter is there a wattage requirement yeah let's get there first so break down real quick mike the car show and the car audio show what are the classes that people actually go in there to compete let's start with the car show okay so basically what we do at the uh, on the car show side is we have a top 50 so it's really not classes over there. Everybody's competing against everybody. So we got top 50 for that. And then we have 37 best subs. And when I say 37 best subs, these 37 best subs are all custom painted highway signs by three different um, uh, artists out there. And uh, well, actually, you look, actually, there's two of them right there. Daniel Smith from Smithworks, Gooch from Gooch, uh, Brandon from Gooch Customs. And then we got Thad Cunningham that's doing all of our best subs for us. And so those are all custom painted um, highway signs that we give away for our best doves. Now, oh, really? over on the. So these right here, that's yes. really the trophy, the award. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes, that's those true. are actual highway that's signs, true. and uh, they have all been custom painted. And so we got 37 of those, and then we got 50 of our also highway signs that are, um, which you, I don't have a picture of those yet. They actually just, they're sitting at my front door right now um, because they just got delivered. Um, so, uh, they're sitting there and those are all going to have the show artwork. And of course that big Jeff audio right at the top on every one of them. So there's going to be different classes on the car show side. And then how do you break down the classes for the car audio side? So the car audio, basically what we got out there for the car audio. I don't know if your, your team had got the picture of those that I posted up, but those are those orange crowns that we had made and those orange crowns. We got six of those. And we're going to have the cleanest install, uh, uh, team participation. We're going to have loudest of the show, best hair trick, most brutal de- uh, demo, and um, lady bass head. And they're all those big orange crowns that we had made. And so those are going to be given out to all those uh, the bass heads out there. Right. So when you started this, what actually got you to create the the show? The You know, what was the... What got you doing it originally? Well, originally, I've always loved going to car shows and going to car shows, being able to meet people, because that to me, that's what it's all about. Meeting people, getting to know, especially these people that you get to see coming from all over the place. I mean, we got people coming from Texas, from Alabama, from Georgia. I had a guy call me from New Jersey that is like, Mike, we didn't get to leave yet because of the storm, blah, blah, blah. They're coming from all over the places. And these are people that I get to go and see and I've met from going to all these other car shows. And then you got these other promoters that throw their car shows that come and support your show. Then you go support their show. And it's just a big community that everybody looks out for each other and takes care of each other. And just, you know, like I tell this, there's so, there's so much out there for everybody. There, there's mm-hmm. no reason to, to hate fighting. this guy for this yep. or hate this guy for that. Dude, there's so much out there for everybody that we can all be successful. We can all put on good shows, all, uh, you know, sell equipment, everything out there for everybody. There's enough for everybody. And, but I'm we just happy to go, out. and it's going to be not sweating a thousand degrees like it made steel. I, I can't stand yeah. that. <laughs> uh, 
we got the rain out of the way. It looks like we're going to have perfect weather Saturday and Sunday, which is real cool. So it's a two-day event. How does it break up? What is day one mostly, and then what is day two? Okay, so basically what we do is Friday is our setup day. We, we get all of our vendors out there. We get everybody with their big trailers. Everybody comes in. Uh, we start at Friday at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and we get everybody set up. So when we open up those gates, um, for 7.30 on Saturday for the vendors to come in and get ready, get at their booths. 8 o'clock, the show actually starts, and they start rolling in, baby. And that's why right. we, we try to get everybody set up and ready to go. Now, Friday night from 7 to 10, that's another cool thing about Destination Daytona. At Destination Daytona, we have the hotel on property. We have the restaurants on property. We have the bar and grill right there on property. So the bar, Saints and Centers on property, we have a pre-party. Friday night from 7 to 10, we have a DJ, we do a cornhole tournament, and we all hang out out there at the bar. They have drink specials that night, um, food specials that night, and we just have a good time, hang out. We go to bed and get ready to uh, get ready for the show on Friday. So Friday comes, or I'm sorry, uh, for Saturday. Saturday, 8 a.m., the gates open, and the stereo portion starts, the show portion starts. And um, at, uh, at 9 o'clock, the spectator gates open up, the show merchandise starts up. And then at um, uh, 10 o'clock, the judging starts, and the judges are out there on their golf carts doing their thing. And then from when we go from that, uh, um, we also do a club um, challenge. So basically, our charity is Sophie Circle, which is a lo local dog rescue. And so we challenge the clubs to come out, and whoever brings out the most items for this charity, um, they uh, win a $200 uh, 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 bar tab at the Hooligans that's right there on property. You go, they're going to have a special room for you guys to go in at 730. It's right up front there um, by the main gate, um, right there by the Lowe's this, that you're looking at right now. Uh, Joe, the general manager, has a special room for the club that wins it. They're going to have a table at 730, and then you can use that $200 uh, bar tab uh, you know, for food, drinks, the whole nine yards. Uh, right there now, on property what we're looking at how much of this is going to be the show this map here okay this map is not the best i ain't gonna lie uh but you're gonna see the vip pavilion parking right there you're gonna see the red parking and then um so all that area right in there and into the right of the pavilion parking is all the show and then you're gonna look over here where it says purple parking that's all part of the show and then over here where the stereo parking is that's the whole stereo portion right over there to the left Wow. Uh, Dean, if you were to bring out some memorable moments, I mean, what would you tell everybody uh, about the show that you've been going to? One Second thing year, I Dean, do... Don't talk about the first. <laughs> 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 one thing I do personally look forward to at that show is, one, the weather. The weather is actually pretty amazing. It's never... For the years I've went, it wasn't too cold or too hot, or it'll start off nice and cool, and then it'll get like warm. You know what I'm saying? It's the best Florida weather show I could ever ask for. You know what I'm right, saying? And right. I'm from the islands. I hate cold, and I really don't <laughs> like hot either. I like middle. You know what I'm saying? So the weather is amazing. So if you're looking for a show that you're not freezing your pants off or sweating your pants off, it's an amazing show. Other than that, um, the vendors are pretty cool. The organization's really good and the cars the selection of cars trucks bikes it's sporadic so i could honestly say as a promoter and as an enthusiast myself no matter what you're into you'll find it there and that's that's truly something to look forward to because you like you showed little clips of like the the trucks the lifted trucks the lowered trucks they're crazy i don't know how he gets these vehicles out there but he does it and he does it amazingly and then of course you have the music side, which he didn't mention as yet. But um, you, well, he did say you have the five the five organizations, but as well as the trophies just for Eastbound, each organization does their own giveaways yeah. and awards as well. So it's not like you're just only looking forward to his. If you compete in Mecca, um, whatever audio yeah, you're sorry. into, you yeah. also compete win your points for the season and so on and so forth. So no matter what you're into, it's a show that you could get. You, it's a win-win. You know what I'm right, saying? There's right. no negative. Uh, Mike, is there any kind of history or background to the name Eastbound Get Down? I mean, where'd that come from? You want to know the truth? 
That was no, the, hardest, the hardest thing we've ever did was trying to come up with a name for a damn show that nobody else had already used or nobody else uses it. Have, and yeah. so it honestly came up with our wife one day. She goes, oh, he's found Get Down. And then we're like, oh, my God. You know, we've been going crazy. Me and my wife <laughs> right? going crazy <laughs> trying to figure out a name. And then my wife just out of the blue busts out with Eastbound Found Get Down. And right. unfortunately, well, not fortunately, but fortunately, she, uh, Snow- Smokey the Bandit uh, came on, was on Netflix. And that song, and she goes, "That's it. That's that's it. That's the that's the that's the name." Eastbound Get Down, and I was like, "Okay, let's let's do it." So that's how we basically came up with Eastbound Get Down. How how is this each year? I mean, give us an idea. How has it grown each year? I mean, what do you look for? Like, what is your goal each coming year? Well, each year, my here's here's the thing, and this might sound crazy. We honestly do not want to have the. I don't. It having the biggest show. It means nothing to us. Definitely we want to have a good quality, quality show. People come to and have a good time, and they leave wanting to come and back again and next. again and exactly. again. Exactly. That's right. what we want. And what we would like is what we because we there's plenty of room to grow there. There's tons of room to grow there. That's not you a have problem. The room for sure. Yeah. I want it to be. Um, uh, what are the controlled chaos basically and we want to be able to have it w- the way we want to do it set, we think we've set it up where it's a good like thank you about the well organized thing because that's something that we work a, really hard on and that's what we want we want a well organized um a show that everybody has a good time our sponsors enjoy it our sponsors benefit from it we benefit from it everybody benefits from it because yeah. everybody has a good time and continues to keep coming right you know, I'm excited. Obviously, one, it's only, you know, short time to drive. Taking, you know, when we go to the shows, I'm bringing 12 to 16 employees. We're bringing multiple vehicles. It's a mission in itself. So I'm excited on that. Um, and then, again, like Dean's saying, I, I haven't heard anything bad. Um, I've just been hearing good things about past shows, which it's almost impossible nowadays to just get good vibes. Somebody's good always feedback. got Somebody's yeah. always got something to say, something. And, mm-hmm. and I haven't heard that. So that's a really cool thing. Um, real quick, everybody, if you haven't done, make sure you hit the like button, share this out. If you haven't commented the word get down, do that now. You might win a pair of six-inch Godfather LMRs. Also, after the podcast at 845, hit up the Big Jeff Audio YouTube. We are starting off a, another giveaway for some American base. Um, ben, you got a picture of the subs and the amp? Thumbs up. Oh, there we go. We'll be giving out a set of subs and a Comp 2K amp. We will start that tonight and then announce the winner next Tuesday on the podcast. So make sure you hit up that video. Um, everybody hit that up. Get down. Let's do another quick video break, and then we'll be back here with Mike Murray from Man, this is really getting me excited. Eastbound Get Down Car Show and my man Dean Baptist. We'll be right back after this short break. Now, usually my team is pulling video from past times. And what I noticed on all this, there's a huge, huge selection of everything. Uh, we saw bikes. We've seen trucks, lifted, lowered, cars. Um, I really want to uh, wish we pulled some video on the car on your side, but that's what we're going to be this year for sure, shooting that video, bringing this to everybody's uh, device, computer, whatever, 
And then hopefully some people next year want to make the trip to come out here. Uh, it's a weekend. You're in that Daytona area. Like uh, Dean said, best time of the year to do this. Dean, I don't know. Why don't people do more shows around this nice, cooler weather? What is it about doing it in the 100 degree? Uh, I question myself because if I ever do a show one day, which, man, I don't have enough time to go to the bathroom sometimes, I would not be doing it during the summertime. What do you think it is that everybody doesn't do it during this period? Um, I have no idea why people don't choose the cooler times. Um, Florida in itself is just such a bipolar state. Um, right. you, you, because music awards, for example, I always try to do it in November. Usually it was like the 17th, 18th for the past three years. It rained every year on the same day. So I said, you know what? Bump that. I'm going to switch it. I, I switched it up on them. And I went the weekend before. Perfect. It was cool. It wasn't too hot. It had its little cold front, a little bit here and there, but it was perfect. So it's like, I feel other people try to stick to the summer because they try to run from the rain. You know what I'm saying? But you can't, you can't fight Florida. If it wants to rain, it is going to rain. You, yeah, and, you and, the, and the crazy part is they'll say 20% and it'll rain 80% won't rain. Like, just forget yep. about it. Yeah, uh, Mike, yeah. it is a tradition on the show. I'm surprised people have been asked, what do you drive and does it have a system in it? All right. Well, I have an 89 Mazda that's bagged and body dropped. It's a single cab. So my 89 Mazda that's bagged and body dropped on 19s, it's completely shaved. And you're going to see which one it is at the show because that bitch is bright as hell yellow. Okay. And so there is a little teeny weeny system in it. Because there ain't much room in that damn thing to fit anything nice. more. Yeah. I got door, I got door speakers, and that's it, boss. Right. Now, my first truck, I had a extended cab S10, and I had six fifteens in the back of my extended cab. Now that was that. That's where I started. I mean, I started out with three ten, three JL Audio tens, precision power, and that I uh, loved it, loved it, loved it. Wasn't enough, and then I went up and got my six fifteens in that damn thing, and uh, that's that's. But then. Got a wife with a kid, and, or had a kid, and there goes the there goes the S10 with six fifteens in it. What um, and they're gonna be curious. What got you in the car audio back then? What was it? What was the first experience that got you hooked into the music, the whole vibe? Oh well, that was easy. We used to we used to be outside playing around outside, and Terry Diaz, I'll never forget him. He had a um a two eighteens. And his S10 in the back of his uh, his cab, he had the cab on it. And we always heard when Terry would come in down the road, boom, 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 coming up the road. We knew when, there, uh, when Terry was coming home. And uh, right there, he got us hooked. And so from that on, from that point on, we were we were hooked, and and we wanted we wanted that in our S10s. Is there a? Do you have like a, a favorite brand? If you were to build a dream system and a dream car, what would it be? Well, it's Rogue Audio, man. That's 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 easy. Rogue Audio is where it's at. Right. Um, let's do this. Uh, Mike, my, my team is going to pick out a winner for the American Base 6-inch, and then when they pop it up, you can go ahead and read off the winner. Uh, if you haven't done already, it's too late. We're giving away a set of full-range full Godfather 6-inch. Uh, and uh, do we already pick a winner in the background there? If so... All right, Ben, I got the thumbs up. Mike, you want to announce the winner as soon as they pop it up? Uh, I'm trying to see where we – oh, well, Juan Gotti. That's you, baby. You're the winner. Winner, winner, exactly. chicken dinner. Congratulations, Juan. Juan. Yep. Yeah. Uh, first time seeing his name, so congratulations. Hit up 737 Big Jeff. My team will get you taken care of, send you out some speakers and a swag pack. If you have any questions for my co-host, Dean, or Mike Murray, go ahead and pop them in the comments. we got some time still. Um, so the images we loaded, I want to go back to those. So I guess, do you have a lot of these car clubs that are going to show up? Like, you know, for instance, what we're looking at here, are these just single trucks or is this part of a group? That right there, that picture that you're looking at right now is a, our car club called Negative Camber and uh, wow. NC. 
and you there are 53 of them that have already pre-registered for the show um so i know of 53 of those guys of that club that'll definitely be there um you showed another image it's called aftermath uh, a little bit earlier and i know that they have that right there that's part of aftermath and those guys have i think 37 pre-registered already so, oh wow um we got team billet that's gonna be there and team billet is gonna be they got I honestly, I don't know how many of those guys are. There's a, there is a bunch of team billet coming. Um, the van will be there back. Is, the, the Camaro will be back. Uh, there, there is going to be um, uh, the freaks of natures is got another club that is, I think they have like almost 30 of them um, there that have pre-registered um, sunset. I know there's, uh, if I remember correctly, it was like 14 of sunset. We got clubs coming from all over the, I had a guy, you know, earlier, uh, call me from New Jersey, you know, just telling me. I had a guy call me that's coming from Wisconsin, but he's flying in for the show his first time, his first time in from Wisconsin. He's like, I'm getting out of the hell out of the snow, coming down to Florida. What better <laughs> come to Florida and, and, and come to a car show? Come so, to a car show, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it honestly, being in um, uh, January in Florida, I think it's really been good for us. Uh, because of the fact that we are the first car show of the season, uh, right. audio and car show uh, wise, and it's, it's beautiful here in Florida. So, you know, who wouldn't want to be in the Sunshine State when it's snowing up north? I know you said three years, uh, Mike A is asking, but is this the third year or the fourth year? No, this is going to be our third year. Uh, 2024 will be our fourth or third year. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I mean, if you were to sum up, the show in one sentence how would you do it Ooh, show the show in one sentence one um, sentence one period it, <laughs> it's i mean it is act it, it it is a hell of a time because like dean talked about earlier it we have a great mix of mini, mini trucks low riders uh full-size trucks um uh sport cars hot rods and then we have the audio section. I mean, it's the best of, of all worlds, all at like one yeah. place. And right. I mean, it, 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 it's a great, we have tons of vendors there. I mean, we have t-shirt vendors all the way to audio vendors to um, AccuWare Air Systems is going to be there. Stingray Chevrolet is going to be there. Rogue Audio is going to be there. Big Jeff is going to be there for crying out loud. And I mean, he's going to be giving <laughs> away the chains. You got to be there to get your chain. Got to get the chain. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I'm hoping to just see. I mean, all I actually young wore my chain. I, well, Ali seen it, but I wore my chain in the islands to a party. Um, <laughs> so I was representing all the way in the islands. All right. Right. We, we should have gave you something to pass out up there for sure. <laughs> no, you um, really should have. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get with you for the next time I come. And I think uh, a lot of people don't think about it, but Dean had some really good food there. I mean, what kind of vendors are going to be there on the food side for everybody? Yeah. Dean, you want to take that? or Because we had the island cuisine that was out in the audio. Yep. They're going to be are back gonna again. Are they going to be out again? Okay, yes. good. Yeah, good. they will be That's back again. That's the one again. you ate from um, Jeff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got you all the food I, and I felt bad. Yeah, because I told him I was going to pay for all my guys. And then um, we ended up skedaddling the first day early. And I don't know if he didn't think I was coming back. And he was calling me. I'm like, we're going to be back there tomorrow morning. Man. So Jeff, sti Jeff stiffed them for the next day. <laughs> right. Uh, but, but he fed plenty of people. So he got, he got, he got paid. He's all good. Okay, um, good. So people can go there. They can eat. Um, no alcohol, right? We, well, there's the bar. Uh, we are going to have bars. At the yeah. at the, the 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 underneath the pavilion, the VIP parking area underneath the pavilion. There's going to be a DJ underneath there. There's going to be a um, a bar set up. The uh, the destination Daytona. It's against their liquor license to allow people to have alcohol on. Property. Yeah, I just asked because I was surprised at Dean's show. There was more liquor there than non liquor. Uh, <laughs> you were you were stuck <laughs> drinking out of the porta potties or <laughs> sodas because everything else had liquor. In the fact, no. one drink I was island I, party. Yeah, there man. Was like, they found the crown. There's the crown, Jeff. There's oh, the there crown. Oh, there we go. So where did that's where I wanted to get to? Where did you come up with the idea? Uh, let me pull this back up for the trophies, basically. Where did this come from? Well, because hey, Dean can contest this. Trying to be a promoter and come up with something that's different, something different. than what has already been done. 
or something yeah. that's already out there. Like, for example, audio. Everybody does these damn championship belts, which are great and are awesome. Yeah. But so I'm thinking, hey, the king of this, the king of that. And my wife is watching The Crown right now on Netflix. And I was like, hey, let's do The Crown. So we did crowns. But the highway signs were right off of Highway 95 at Destination Daytona. So I was like, hey, let's do highway sign. signs. Yeah. Right. Plus, and then we got. And you can get hung up real nice, too. I mean, it's a perfect idea. I mean, yeah. How big are these things? I mean, uh, are they that one that you're looking at? The best ofs right there are going to be 12 by 14. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Big. That's huge. Right. That's yep. pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, there's 37 of those that were given away, and those are each one of those are hand painted. That's what I was going to ask. They're not wrapped. That's actually hand painted. No, that's no, nice those are all that. hand painted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yes. real cool. So now, next how many year, total? How many total signs are there? I mean, how many? How many well, chances there's people have? 50, there's 50 for the top 50, and there's 37 best ofs total. Oh, wow. And then six for the audio, you said? And then we got, for the audio, six. what was it? One, two, three, four. We got one, two, three, four, five, can, six. Can, yes. you, can you read off uh, for the audio so the guys know what, what I mean, you? I saw there was stuff like best, best engine and that. But we for actually the audio, have time. seven for the audio. We're going to have cleanest seven. install. We're going to have uh, best lady or, you know, lady head or lady base head. We're going to have yeah. most brutal demo. Oh, come on. That had to be the wife stepping in and saying, Mike, you we have need to get some of the ladies, right? right? Well, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. hey, we got to take care of the ladies because if we don't take care of the ladies. You know what? There is more and more females getting in this industry. Are, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, we've been seeing that multiple times with giveaways and other stuff. Uh, I've been seeing more and more. Uh, girl type social media pages. Um, it's it's growing for sure. Um, it is. You know, COVID killed a lot of things and changed the world, but I think it brought life back into car audio and audio, car customization. Yeah. People were stuck home, had to do stuff, um, and part of what they were doing was DIY. Building. They were doing their own stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I really think that made a huge deal. I'm not sure what they load here. I'm going to pop it up. We loaded more pictures. There okay. they are. Okay, so you have the crowns and the street signs. Yeah, the crowns are especially, those are the best of for the audio portion. The street signs are the best of for the car show side. Gotcha. We'll see what else we got on here. Hold on. Oh, what is this? Is that a geo tracker? That is a geo tracker, and that what? vehicle right there is a girl's vehicle right there, too. Wow. You know, when did they stop even making them? This thing's got some years on it and it looks brand new. That's incredible. Yep. I yep. like the back though. I've never seen one with that. Well, the her, the name the name of that vehicle is Topless 2. Oh, wow. And it looks like she got a trophy or yeah. uh, that's That cool. is the top 50 trophy right there from last year. Let's see what she got. Here. And that's old my school. boy. That's that's my favorite mailman right there. He won best old school last year. I was right, and I just said old school. Uh, yep, even he, the whole he, paint scene, that's like uh, early 2000s, late 90s. That's what you saw. That's real yep. cool. That's even around. Let's see what else we got. Look at that. Uh, oh, we lost Mike again, Dean. There he is. There okay. Hey, he's back. Um, this would be considered... I keep getting text messages, Jeff. I got a bunch of people watching, but they ain't commenting. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, well, if you are watching the show and you're from Mike's uh, platform, make sure you comment in for sure. We'd love to see I don't see know what's on going here. on, but they, they keep texting me instead of commenting on the damn thing. I don't know what's going on with that. They're, they're scared. So, <laughs> uh, now, this is, you see this, this is car right cool. here? Yeah, that's kind of cool. This car right here is an actual wrap. That car is completely what? wrapped. Oh, wow. No shit. Yes, because that, that guy owns a wrap company, and he wrapped that car for the show. Hey, Ben, so, can you make this full size for us? I want to see this. That is crazy. That's a wrap. That? That's yeah, a wrap. That That's crazy. The hood you and know, all? That yeah. whole car is completely wrapped. That is a wrap. That's crazy. Car. That's insane. Uh, Man, that's a F-250 four-door. Yep. yep. Old school. Yep. So we'll I'll tell you guys again. a little bit about lifted trucks, right? I got ran over by one of them. What? 
What? When was so, this? Um, this actually happened at a show that ends in steel. John oh. might be watching, so I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, he definitely couldn't see me because he was looking at the stars when he was driving. And uh, what did you do? You start yelling? Car. You just start yelling? Nope, I was so pissed. I, you ever been so mad you can't even really talk? You know what I'm saying? I just right. got out my car and went and sat, and I just looked at my car. And you ever heard that commercial? In the eyes of... Like, I, that's all I heard. You know that <laughs> You know that sad music playing in the background? I was just so depressed. But then so I was how, like, bad, how bad was it? Um, so, so bad you can't even tell. It was actually in Hot Topic. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, they they legit cut it, redid it. So I'm I'm just happy for my my paint team and my body shop that they're amazing in what they did, and I didn't have to pay for it. So after a while, I was just like, you know what? As long as I get my car back how how it was before you ran it over, thank you. Have a great day. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Life Man, goes you're on. way too nice, Dean. Way too nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little pat here. Uh, great podcast, chef. Bring the crew on so we can say hey. Uh, all right, let's do that. Let's hear it. Uh, she's already smiling. There, there he is. There he is. And he was team. saying. Uh, that was uh, what we got. We got a Jesse K. Great podcast we did. Uh, so you got Tail the Hair. Like I said, he is my online. Uh, manager, he deals with all the website, social media, uh, a lot. Ben has been with me for a while, and he takes care of all the social media, graphics, stuff like that. And Allie runs the customer service team. Um, even this show that we have to do every week, it's not easy because we're not sitting home or just doing this nights and weekends. Everybody has a you know full time job. We nice. incorporate this throughout the week, as you know, Mike. Um, we do the whole thing you get you get we reach out to you we plan it we do uh a kind of like a questionnaire we do some blogs yep. and then the guys put together some videos so there's a lot of work uh that goes in this i don't think people realize and even now like i said wasn't even able to make it home um so we're doing it here from the shop but you know i love bringing people on i've learned so much man not just car audio but I've had, man, we had a guy, uh, Vortex Radar, his whole platform is about radar detectors, and this guy knows his shit, and I thought I knew a lot about radar detectors, and having him on explains why the guy's got a half a million subscribers, and all he does is radar detectors, just mm -hmm. real knowledgeable, and then even the shows, you know, Mike, there's there's probably, I mean, not probably, there's hundreds of thousand people never even heard of the show before, because they're not in the Florida area, yeah. and hopefully this brings, uh, people to take a look so you guys have a facebook page mike that you kind of update right throughout the year this oh, isn't yeah. oh yeah this pops up one year and that's it hey my team my team is not as good as your team though so i'll just oh, confess that right now <laughs> uh, those guys are hands down and they'll tell they'll tell you that i'm definitely because i'm the one that does it and i mean i'm over here getting email after email from miss Allie over here so hey miss Allie, i do apologize for not answering you back as soon I'm actually a mailman. That's what I do for a living. I'm mailman. Oh, really? So oh, I'm out there slinging paper, and Allie's over here e uh, e uh, emailing me. I'm like, tail. oh, man, you should, wear, hurry up you should wear your chain when you do deliveries, too. Oh, right. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to wear it tomorrow, and I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to post it up with that, you know, that <laughs> Jeff Swag out there delivering the mail. They you might know, not know if they're getting robbed or you're no. delivering. No, hey. <laughs> Hey, listen, I've been I've been a mailman for 24 years. My people love Damn. me, and I guarantee you, I'm going to take a picture with one of my customers, and I'm going to have the, the 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 big Jeff swag on, and I'm going yeah, yeah. to I'm going to post it up tomorrow. You know, it's Let's funny go. because the chain, even the glass, it just it, people have fun or kind of get that childhood feel back. You know, when we hand them out the shows, cool, we have yeah. them, you know, we have them do like a a Google review or they they follow us. But you see the excitement of, and and then watching everybody walk around at the shows with it, you know, yep. no matter if they buy from me or not, I don't care. The point of us going is marketing. And if one day they want to shop at Big Jeff Audio, we'd be happy to. But um, well, here's the thing. I remember seeing the pictures from Dean's show. And mm -hmm. um, I all I remember oh, seeing was kids 
walking around with all these chains on and they yep. were everywhere everywhere yep. my buddy there john was, was there at the show i didn't make it to the show but i seen the pictures and there was kids everywhere with big jeff chains on everywhere the only thing you're missing is the big medallions on the right the goes, of yeah. the chain. Uh -huh. well after we get the grill done maybe that'll be the next update <laughs> I'll, um, I'll tell you what the first show we went to because i never wanted to do car shows when i was doing a company one i'm like we're not the stereo shop. We're not the manufacturer. So I didn't want to do it. But the first show we showed up at was um, Made of Steel. The Yukon wasn't done yet. And I remember this like it was yesterday. A kid walks up and hands me a dollar and says, I want to get a hair trim. And the truck wasn't done yet. We just brought it out. It was in the early stages. And I felt so bad, right? Because the kid's looking at me. But you'd be surprised how many kids we talked to there. I got a photo that used to be up on my Facebook of this kid, the face, he got the demo. Um, this was actually at, um, which show was it? Was it Music Wars? I think it might've been. The guy's dad follows us, so the kid sees the Facebook. He wanted to get a demo and his face, man, was just so like, no matter how crazy this industry gets, seeing that just gives me energy, man. And I left yep. that picture up. Even his mother was commenting because she saw it. That's my boy. And it's so exciting. At the same time, we also offer on our website, guys, like a spot where it says, like, basically, we'll shout you out. And we do that. Uh, Casey Doll need a redneck grill option. <laughs> not really sure, Casey. Uh, I want to know what a redneck grill is. I, I that was okay. yeah. I, I uh, don't even know if I want to know, but yeah. Casey's our new uh, wholesale sales manager, so tomorrow I'm going to really try to find out what that is. What but, that is, right? Yeah. So, you know, seeing the kids involved uh, at a young age, I, you know what I want to be? I want to be when maybe later on, years later, and they do get on the podcast or do it, and they say, "Hey, what got you into it?" And maybe one day it's. Yeah, I was, you know, met Big Jeff and, and I got all my swag and got to sit in the Yukon and, you know. Uh, well, see, that's the thing, too, is to see a kid smile at something like that, especially nowadays mm -hmm. with all the negativity in the world. And right. that's what we need is we need these kids, future base heads, future mini truckers, future lifted truck, whatever it is. We just need them in the scene to keep supporting these shows in this industry. I'll give you a perfect going. example. We got a guy, Chad Loud. I'm going to call him out because the guy is an awesome dude. He's actually going to co-host. Chad Loud, I guess, came to a show. We gave him a chain. He was wearing it through the show. He ended up getting a demo in another company vehicle, and everybody started ripping him a new one. Oh, you got a big Jeff chain on, but you're getting a demo. Well, the purpose of a demo is a demo. It doesn't mean you have to be a part of a clique to get the a demo. Or whatever, yeah. And this guy, Chad, basically told everybody to shut the fuck up, basically. And when I found this out, uh, I hit him up directly. And I said, I, I know pressure can be rough, right? And I said, hey, let me do something back. Can I send you a swag kit? Well, we, we sent him a fucking box like this big. The guy made a video. It was probably the best swag unboxing video I've even ever seen. And it was just, it was great. So we have him coming on. I forget which episode. And he writes me the other day and says, hey, I just joined a team and the team he joined was part of the original podcast I had problems with. And he says, I don't, I don't want to cause problems. I'm like, you're not, you're part of a team. That's, I got no problem with that. I want you on the show. Everybody loves your infectious attitude, right? I don't care what brand you have in there. If you buy it for me or not for me or what team you're part, because at the end of the day, man, everybody takes some of this too serious. Now money is serious. Business is serious. But this industry, these car shows, the base, the man, it should be fun, period. Yes. And you yes. know what? Sometimes I think bringing some of these kids out there, as one of the comments I put up here said, future base heads. Where is that? F here it is. My comment is future base heads. And that's what it is. Do, I, do we really mm -hmm. want to give that generation the wrong impression no. of this? No. We want them to be, hey, how did you first start off in car audio? I was at the... Uh, Eastbound Get Down show, and I saw one of the coolest cars ever. Or I was at Music Wars, and I got to see this battle. You know, that's what we really want, man. So, um, listen, Mike, uh, thank you for coming on. I can't wait for this weekend. We will be there, uh, proud and strong. Um, 
if anybody walks out of there with something not in their hand, it's because they did not stop at our booth. Uh, yeah. We're going to do what we normally do and uh, have everybody more than welcome to come by and see us. All of you, make sure I will try to get on as many lives as possible. It's really hard when I get there. People pulling you every different way. Everybody wants to talk. They want demos. I will do my best, but I will have a full team there doing video, um, and everybody can sit at home and act like they were actually there. Dean, thank you so much for coming on. Um, man, thank you guys. one of the best guys I've ever met in this industry. And had, what, Dean is a perfect example of how you can be in this industry and be friends with everybody. And that's what I love about him. Uh, no drama. It is what it is. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share this out. Obviously, we will reload this video tomorrow as a video. Uh, hopefully, this will be matched up with the Eastbound Get Down Show. What does it say? Getting the cardio has helped me stay sober off drugs for two years now. That's awesome. Base is, base is my new drug. I could say that. No. Cardio is my life. Brandon, no. I don't know who you are, but, man, that's, that's what we're amazing. talking about there. Thank you, Brandon, for even coming on and using up your time to be a part of this. Uh, thank you to everybody. Um, listen, at 8.45, 15 minutes after we go off, check out YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, hit that bell, and when we put a video out, it pops up. We're going to start our American Base giveaway. Basically, watch the video, and then there's three things you got to do. So watch the whole video, and you can enter. Uh, if you're interested in being on the podcast, co-host in the podcast, or you want somebody else on the podcast, send us an email podcast at bigjeffaudio.com. I will do my best to get them on here or get you on here. That's what it's about. And if we're looking for pictures and videos of cars, you might deserve that shout out. You can do that by going to our website. There is a section. Let us shout you out. You hit that red button in the middle, upload your stuff. We will shout you out for sure. Everybody deserves to be seen. I don't care if you have wires hanging out speakers upside down uh man this is what it's about just having fun mike if you want to say something to our guests tonight we had a constant uh, amount of people what would you say to everybody hey i just hope to see all you guys this weekend eastbound get down destination daytona january 12th through the 14th friday's vendor setup day saturday sunday show day be there be loud have a good time have a good attitude Come out and enjoy yourself. Hey, it's the first show of the season. Let's start off with that bang. Yeah, hundred percent. And Dean, uh, when you come, you flew over, right? I'm flying back on uh, Wednesday. Okay, and then you'll Tomorrow. be here in time. So we will see you this weekend. Thank you yep. so much for co-hosting tonight. Thank uh, you. Thank you to my all of my followers, all my guests. Thank you for making what Big Jeff Audio is. We're gonna keep doing it. I have a saying that I always close out with: If you get bigger. I get bigger. If I get bigger, you get bigger. And that's about networking with everyone. And I firmly believe in that. And that's how I built this company. That's how we will continue to build this company. I want to thank everybody for stopping in on a Tuesday night. Make sure you hit up our YouTube. Even if you don't want to enter, just hit that like button. Leave a comment. It helps out. That's all we do this for is likes and comments. And uh, Ben, why don't you take us out? Another episode in the books, number 32 with Mike Murray. Eastbound Get Down show this weekend. We'll see you soon. See you soon, Mike. Bye, guys. Another show in the bag. Yeah, that's a wrap. Big sound is the best, and it ain't no cap. Hit the website if you need that merch. It's Big Jeff Audio and hit the search. I know you had fun. Yeah, you gotta admit it. That boy Big Jeff took his thing and he did it. Always a win, yeah, never a L. Did you smash the like, subscribe, and hit the bell? Share it on your socials, put it on blast. We'll be back next week with another podcast. Big sound in the house, like no other deviant and big.